In this episode, we are modding a GAB2100 using XKX mod kits to create something you haven't seen before. Let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the G-Shock Watcher. I'm very excited to have you here with me today because today we're going to be using a SKX mod to create our very own Cassioke. And I've been thinking about this for a while, waiting for certain components. In fact, this was the last little piece that we we're waiting for our markers. I should have ordered this at the time of buying the mod, but I didn't and then had to do a subsequent order, which became very, very costly. What I'm going to modify is this particular watch. This is the uh, GAB2100, a caution yellow, so a very black and yellow design. This was a series of different watches that actually had with this very bold sort of look, kind of industrial and caution yellow. You know, you see the black and the yellow. I'm going to take the foundation of this particular watch because I really like the black and the yellow and I'm utilizing the SKX SKX mod. I better not put that in front of the microphone because you probably can't hear. But the SKX mod kit to modify this particular watch. Now, the scary thing is the mod kit itself costs more than the actual watch. I bought this off Buy to get it at a bit of a discount. Um, came in really, really good quality. Uh, very, very happy with it, but I'm going to take this one apart. Now, the reason why I am excited and anxious is that rather than just taking, I guess, the outside of the watch off and just sort of remodding it, adding a, a, another bracelet to it or a case, we're going to go deep inside the watch today. Now, I won't record everything because I watched somebody else do this recently and they sort of said, it's probably a good idea to pay attention to what you're doing rather than recording everything. So what I will do is show you what it's like before. I'll take you through the components that are actually inside the kit. It came in this box and there was another box for tools. And then I'll show you the finished product and get your feedback in terms of how it looks. So let's have a look at the watch closely and the, uh, the actual kit itself. Okay, so this is the watch we are going to modify, the Caution Yellow. As you can see, very nice blacks on yellows. It's got the uh, negative display there, which I'm still not necessarily a fan of. But you know what? It, it gives that nice sort of look. But very bold yellows on the very, very dark watch. Um, you can see I kind of like yellow. This was my Casio Mixed Tape Edition. You can see the tape on there. Kind of fun. But this one we're going to go and actually turn into a Cassie Oak. The watch details, let's see if we can get it there. So it is Bluetooth, Carbon Core Guard, and Tough Solar. Uh, nice that looks like the bracelet should come off fairly easily. So this is the watch we're going to modify. Now, the kit we're using is the SKX mod. My greasy fingerprints all over it. But let's go take a look. Um, a lot of packaging in here. Probably not fantastic if you're environmentally conscious, but let's have a look at this one. We're going to open it up. Slides out. Come on, little fella. There we go. Okay, first things first. Very, very good. We've got a instruction manual because this is why I'm very anxious about it. It tells you step by step how to use all of the different aspects of this. Um, this is good. We've got here, confirm your model. We have a GAB2100. So at least we know to start at page 28. So let's have a look at what's in the kit itself. Lots of protection, which is good. Here's our fundamentals. Metal bracelet black, resin bracelet bleh, yellow. Uh, and I'm going to go with this. So that yellow compared with this yellow. And there's one additional modification I'm going to make. And where is that piece? Whoops. Aha. Uh -huh. Here it is here. I'm going to use yellow hour markers. So you can see we've got hour markers, or at least that's the uh, the outside, but we've got 
yellow hour markers to match with this yellow to match with the yellow of the hands. I'm going to go very strong on the yellow and the black for this particular modification. Let's put that to the side. So we've got our resin yellow. This looks like another uh, latch that we can use. There is a little air puffing device to clean off any dust. The metal uh, bracelet. This is this is obviously for all of our pins, so we don't want to lose any of those. Also get sort of shuffled around during the transportation. Can't fault them for that. Let's just make sure we don't lose anything there. We've got some of the insides of our watch, so obviously some of the waterproofing aspects. This is the case back, obviously. Uh, some of the rings, so this is fairly important. The outer area, and this feels like the case itself. Oh, there we can actually see there's the case. So all the pieces we need to be able to do this. Underneath this, we have another section, and this would be ah, the tools and the blocks that we're going to go ahead and actually use. So everything here is ready to go. Uh, very excited to, to give this a go. So uh, you know what? Let's actually go in and see what we do. And then hopefully at the other end, we're going to show you a very cool Cassie Oak. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go. This is the Caution Yellow XKX Mod GAB2100. Uh, as you can see, it's come out really good. Uh, we've gone for this continual theme between the watch. So we've gone yellow onto black, onto yellow, onto black, onto yellow. So the hands and all of the sort of functions there are still exactly the same as they are. I replaced the hour markers, right? So you can see those are all yellow. So it's a bit more bolder. Um, but apart from that, the only modification then was really the, the modification kit itself. And so that was the actual case and the band. Um, there is also a nice sort of uh, clip inside to be able to use, but I think that's come up really, really nicely in the way it sort of has that colors. And I'm really glad that the coloring of the G-Shock watch, the custom hour markers and the bands are uh, pretty much the same color all the way through. So I think SK Mod has done a very good job with the color schemes of what they've chosen here to match up with the colors of the uh, the watch. The uh, buttons work okay. We've got the light. Uh, we can actually use these. But there's one set of buttons here which is a bit iffy, and this is obviously a design choice by XKX Mod, is the left-hand side doesn't have the buttons. They've got these little button areas and what you're meant to do here is to unwind this crown and this comes out and you use that to press on the areas. Um, and so I get the idea, I get it's probably part of the actual look of the watch, but I found it to be a little bit inconsistent and it's kind of a bit of a, uh, a guesswork to get it to work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's not necessarily precise. So um, fair warning that's a bit tough and I'm not sure if it's alignment because I can open it up and I can see inside they're touching but they're not seem to be working exactly the way I want. So just be be cautious about that. Um, so that's that's one thing which I guess is a bit of a concern. There's a couple of other areas which I guess are missing a little bit. Um, one is I'm glad I put the final thing that I wanted on here, the rubber band. Um, the challenge I have is though, when I went to take the back back off of it again, I thought, well, I'll need to take the band off. Uh, but if I try and take the band off, it's actually screwed in there pretty well and I can't seem to get it to pull back out. Um, so that might be a case where I need to get maybe two alternating screwdrivers and kind of do it differently like that to get that to go. But I'm kind of cautious about that now. I might not be able to get that back out because at some point, as you'll know, I didn't use the bracelet. Um, I wanted to go with that alternating yellow on black, yellow on black, yellow on black. 
So I didn't use the bracelet, but if I did want to use the bracelet, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. So that that is a concern. The other thing which I noticed as well uh, in the box with the screws and the pins, uh, most of the screws were actually in there. But what I did notice is that the screws for the rubber bracelets or rubber band, you were meant to have four of each and I only had three of each. Uh, so not a problem. I had enough. Uh, same thing for the metal bracelet. There's only three and not four. The instructions say there were four. So maybe that was just a packing issue, but not so bad. The other thing which uh, was a little bit confusing, and I think potentially that comes down to the, the book, the book itself, the instruction manual, was very good. It was actually very, very good. But there was a point in it where it talked about putting... Here we go here. I've got to get to the right section because I know the section I was in the B section. And it says at some point you put here the chapter ring, front gasket. Actually, the front gasket and the back gasket are very confusing. Both of them look very, very similar. One's a little bit wider than the other one. Um, so you have to be careful. But it says here put the chapter ring in. And then later on, if I go across here, it says to you to put the uh, the hour markers in on top of the module. That doesn't work for the um, the B2100. You have to put the hour marker together with the chapter ring and then put that into the watch, and then it'll actually fit because I couldn't get it to fit together. Um, so that was a bit of a challenge. A couple of things that were very good. These were very cool. Um, these little watch holders. So as you were working with the watch, obviously not everything's tied in, tied in and tight straight away. So the ability to be able to put the watch into these holders and then put another one in to flip them over, it gave good instructions as to how to actually make that happen. So that was very, very good as well. Um, the tools were very good. Uh, the screwdrivers were great. You know, I can't make a complaint about those at all. So all of that was very, very good. So yeah, there you have it, the GAB2100 Caution Yellow in an XKX Gen 6 Ultra Mod. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That is the Casio G-Shock. Maybe we invented a new watch there. The, the Caution Yellow G-Shock Mod with a metal case and with a yellow resin uh, bracelet. I was looking at the yellow on one of these other G-Shocks I was wearing today. The yellow is a little bit different. I think the yellow here on this particular watch is just a little bit paler than this one. But it's so it's so not discernible. I mean, maybe if you sort of look at it close, you can just see a little bit of a difference. But as this watch, it actually looks pretty uh, pretty decent. So. You know, when you look at these two watches, what it was before and what it is now side by side, it's a great looking watch. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I was a little bit anxious. Like I said, there's some things there with the change of the band and the bracelet, which could be an issue. Um, the need to use the crown on the left hand side. But overall, great watch. Thank you to uh, XKX Mod. They didn't sponsor this. I bought it myself, so I'm sure they're glad to take my money. But thank you for building such an incredible experience. Maybe I'll get to go ahead and actually do it again some other day soon. I've got some other watches which I'm modding shortly. I want to revisit the, uh, the DW and mod this one again. Uh, I don't really like this particular band, so I'm going to remod that with a camo titanium band. And I also just bought from Bai a GX56 King watch, which I'm going to modify as well. So lots more mods coming on the way. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, share with your friends. Hopefully you can enjoy the G-Shock journey as much as I've enjoyed it. Thanks for taking your time to spend with me. I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.